Sasha here on the CB2009. We are over here in Hall 6 and we are at the Olympus booth. So as you might know, Olympus uh, was one of the um, software developers that we've also seen with their easy mode version on the first generation of the Asus Fire, the Asus Fire 1. Um, well, what we have on here um, is also a new netbook, a new device. Seems to me like a prototype or reference design uh, from Quanta. It's super slim, definitely never seen that one before. So if you just take a look, just my finger next to it. So this is really a very, very slim netbook. I guess Intel Atom, uh, let me take a look. Okay, there are all these um, specifications are kind of crossed out, but well, anyways, let's take a look. Let's, let's take a quick look around this. Um, we have a couple of status LEDs. It seems like it has uh, integrated 3G. Um, we have a Wi-Fi LED over here. On this side, we have our microphone in, headset out, and two USB 2.0 ports. On the other side, we have a 4-in-1 card reader, another 2.0 USB port, and of course, the connector for your power cord. And over here, we have the LED for the power. Well, from the top, you can't... The SIM card goes in behind the battery. Oh, okay. So, there's, there should be a 3G SIM card stop behind the battery. Well, we might uh, take a closer look at this afterwards. There's a Vodafone sticker, so that is definitely... Uh, <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe this one was just, um, just for any kind of telco provider. Uh, okay, well, just look at the design. Well, that is a goddamn sexy network. I, I, I just love the size of the trigger. It reminds me a little bit of the EPC S1, uh, S101. Right, so, um, trackpad, pretty much the same size. I love that it has uh, two separate mouse buttons. Keyboard, let's check it out. Pretty decent for a 10 inch version. What I just hate is that they're also putting these small uh, tap keys on there. Makes no sense, especially when you're filling out a form in the end and you're always using a tap key and no one is going to fucking use a caps lock key. So, I mean, that's a that's always a kind of epic fail when it comes to keyboard design, but they're all doing it, they're all copying it, so whatever. We just have to repeat it again and again, please don't do that. Um, well, in general, well, it has a glossy display. This might be kind of problem for a mobile device, especially where this one is really aiming for a, a bundle of, together with a taco contract, with a 3G contract. So you want to use that device, of course, outside and glossy displays, absolutely no go for this. But anyways, brilliant colors when you're inside. Um, there is a, there's a webcam on here. Um, can tell you a lot about the specs, but I mean, it really, really looks cool. So um, I guess um, that's what counts. And it's an Intel Atom uh, N270. Intel Atom N270, so 945 GS, GSC um, chipset, um, pretty much at least, um, the hardware platform. Oh wow! There we go. We just got the specs over here. So um, that's an SSD device, so, and it comes with 512 MBs of RAM, and it's a 10.1 inch uh, screen. So we might end up with a resolution of 1024 by 576. And, yeah, well, all I can say is, um, wow, it looks cool. So this is Sasha Siebert, Linpus booth, and with the anonymous netbook, it looks really, really pretty good.